Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking a look at some surprising performances that you may have forgotten about. The times when famous actors played younger versions of other famous actors. From the biggest blockbusters to cult classics, let's uncover the top 10 actors you didn't realize played younger versions of other stars. Starting our list is none other than Jennifer Lawrence, who is now known for roles in The Hunger Games and Silver Linings Playbook. But did you know she played a young version of Patricia Arquette's character Alison Dubois in the TV show Medium? Back then, Lawrence was still a rising talent, appearing in just a few episodes. While she fit the bill perfectly for a young Arquette at the time, it's hard not to spot J-Law now when re-watching the series. What's your name? Wendy Moira Angela Darling. What's yours? In Steven Spielberg's Hook, packed with big names like Robin Williams and Julia Roberts, there was also a young Gwyneth Paltrow. Before Paltrow's fame skyrocketed with films like Shakespeare in Love and her role as Pepper Potts in the MCU, she played the youthful version of Maggie Smith's character, Wendy Darling. This subtle role in such a star-studded movie often goes overlooked, but marks a significant early appearance for Paltrow. Hey, can I use your truck where you go? I mean your truck. Timothy Chalamet may now be known as a heartthrob and leading man in Dune and Call Me By Your Name, but he played a minor role in Christopher Nolan's sci-fi epic Interstellar. In the film, Chalamet portrayed Tom, the son of Matthew McConaughey's Cooper, who later grows up to be played by Casey Affleck. Chalamet's scenes may be brief, but his presence is unforgettable once you spot him. You wanna lick it? No, why should I? Well, for one thing, it tastes like strawberry. Michael Cera is famous for his roles in Superbad and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. But did you know he played a younger version of Sam Rockwell's Chuck Barris in Confessions of a Dangerous Mind? It's an unlikely pairing, given Cera's usual soft-spoken roles and Rockwell's more boisterous energy. Nonetheless, it's a fun find for any fan revisiting the movie. Before Argentina, we lived in Hungary where my husband studied chemistry. The talented Jessica Chastain and the legendary Helen Mirren shared the role of Rachel Singer in The Debt, a film about Mossad agents on a secret mission. Unlike many of the examples on this list, both Chastain and Mirren received significant screen time as the younger and older versions of the character. This intense spy drama showcases Chastain's early career talent that would later catapult her to stardom. I'm, uh, I'm Ditto. Hey, yo, Ditto. You rock, you rock the, the disco. disco. Hey, hey, look who's here. Shia LaBeouf has been known for everything from his early days on Even Stevens to his performance in Transformers. But in a guide to recognizing your saints, he played the young version of Robert Downey Jr.'s character, Dito. This film was pivotal for both actors. Downey was on the cusp of his big comeback, while LaBeouf was gaining more serious recognition. It's an intriguing pairing of two actors whose paths diverged in fascinating ways. They'll never find us. Do you promise you'll take me with you? One day I will. Before Aaron Taylor Johnson became known for his roles in Kick-Ass and Avengers Age of Ultron, he portrayed a young version of Edward Norton's Eisenheim in The Illusionist. The film, set against the backdrop of magic and mystery, allowed Taylor Johnson to step into the shoes of a character with depth and intrigue. This early role hinted at his capability for complex performances. Will it hurt? A little, probably. For how long? A second. Maybe two. Before starring in Wednesday and Scream, Jenna Ortega played the younger version of Gina Rodriguez's Jane Villanueva in Jane the Virgin. Ortega appeared in numerous flashbacks throughout the series, showcasing her talent long before she became a household name. This role is an easy one to miss, but stands as a testament to Ortega's growth in the industry. I dreamed about you last night. What'd you dream about? Someday I may tell you. Before he became known for roles in Breaking Bad and The Power of the Dog, Jesse Plemons played the young version of Matt Damon's character in All the Pretty Horses. Though his scenes were ultimately cut from the final film, Plemons' resemblance to Damon was so uncanny that even Damon himself commented on it. Plemons' career has since flourished, making this early casting a fun piece of movie trivia.
Finally, we have Michelle Williams, now celebrated for her roles in Manchester by the Sea and the Fablemans, who played a young Natasha Henstridge in Species. This sci-fi horror flick marked one of Williams' early appearances before she was widely known. While Henstridge might still be most recognized for this franchise, Williams' star has risen to greater heights over the years. And that's a wrap on today's look at surprising younger versions of famous actors. Did any of these catch you by surprise? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Hollywood deep dives. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. is isn't all that matters how you feel about it. I like what you do. I like our farm. I'd be great at it.